Hey everybody, Mr. D back here with you today. Today we're doing a little rhyming on a Mega Friday just to, you know, make it, we've been working really hard on battle teams this week and trying to, you know, check the diagraphs of different um, farm animals, which is a really great activity. Today, we're, we just went through my house and I found five things, five different materials. So I found a bag, okay, B-A-G, I found a mug, M-U-G, okay, I found string, it's got the ing at the end, okay, I got the bell, okay, my grandma used to collect those, and I have a plant, okay, plant. Now, what obviously we're trying to focus on is we're trying to focus on the ending sounds of each of these objects. Everybody's got a lot of stuff in their house, and with that stuff, you can try to make it fun just to make like a rhyming game out of it. What is it? <clears throat> how many how many rhymes can you make with a mug? <clears throat> how many rhymes can you make with a plan? How many can you make with a bell? You know, going through your house, you can do it with different members of your family just to try to make it interesting. So, for instance, right now, I'm going to try to rhyme with plant, okay? So, what I would do is I would just get another piece of paper here. Okay, <clears throat> go through my house. I got my plant that I want to rhyme with. Okay, I write the word plant there. Now, notice when you, I show the cards <coughs> that I underline the ending sound in each. Okay, so, so what does it rhyme with plant? Hmm. Uh, let's see. Um, plant, we could think grant. Okay, so that's a good five letter word right there. We could think just an ant itself, ant plant, an ant one of a plant. You can think of it that way. We could have Well, I'm going through my brain right now, trying to think like, hmm, hmm, what does a dog do when it's hot? Pant. Hmm. P A N T. Okay. Pant. So I'm writing those down. So I have three rhymes ready with plant. That's good. Uh, plant, plant. Oh, we could have rant. Okay. Rant, pant, sant, tant, yant, zant. Hmm. So you go through it. You come up with four. That's pretty good. Okay, make a line. Now I'm going to go uh, with bell. Okay, I'm going to concentrate on the ending sounds there. Okay, so I have bell right there. Okay, so bell. Now you can think well. Shell. And you can make it fun. You can have you can give like extra points for like a five letter word. Six letter word could be huge. You could have um well, bell, shell, tell, and so on and so forth. But just kind of an activity that you can make realistic at home since you have tons of stuff at your house. Find a few things, try to make as many rhymes as you can. You can make it fun, give them different points, like a you know, a three-letter word is one point, four-letter word is two points, five-letter word, and so on and so forth, kind of going from there. But you want to concentrate on the ending sound of each of the words and then change the beginning sound. Like with bell, you can see how I changed the b sound to well, w, shell, sh, and then tell, t, to get the different sounds right there. So you can play around with the letters to make those words. It's a fun activity, just something to get you moving in your house. You know, if it's cold or something, especially in the morning. So, you know, try rhyming some things in your house. It'd be fun to do. Thanks a lot for watching. Um, hope everybody's doing well, learning at home. Keep up the great work, guys.